Hello everyone, this is Victor Fitzgerald. What I'm going to be doing is walking you through the Apple Configurator and how you can set that up to manage iPads for your organization. Now, we use this at my school right now to set uh, iPads into the MDM Profile Manager. Um, and we use the profiles to enroll the device and add the trust for the server. We also do a device enrollment and then we actually configure everything to make sure that the, the students can access their apps from within the MDM server. So we don't actually push any apps within the configurator itself. Now, this is what Apple Configurator is. You can go ahead and download it if you just Google the App Store for uh, the Apple Configurator. It will pull up, it will let you download, and then it will be blank. It will have no information about what's going on. So what I want to do is actually walk you through it. There are three steps in the system. The first is that you prepare devices for imaging. Then you actually image them. Then you supervise them so that when they're plugged in the next time, you tell the device what to do. And then you assign them to specific people. So you can assign those devices or not depending on what you want to do. We actually just name them sequentially and then move on from there and enroll those in the MDM. Um, what we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to walk you through the settings that we use to sequentially number our iPads and how we do that within the settings and configurator. Now the first thing you're going to want to do if you're using an MDM server is download the iPad enrollment profile and the trust profile for that server onto your computer. What you're then going to do is you're going to go into the Apple configurator and you're going to start with the preparing apps button or preparing settings. The things that you're going to want to do is first name your iPads. Uh, there's a great feature of being able to sequentially number those apps or those iPads. So if I even started at the number five, uh, it would go five, six, seven, eight, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and start that at number one. I'm going to allow these devices to connect to other apps. I'm going to make sure that supervision is turned on. Um, the first time you do that, you will actually have to set this organization information so that they can see who is installing that supervision on the iPad. Then what you're going to want to do is make sure that you don't restore a backup when you create these images. And the reason for that is because uh, if you restore from a backup, it's going to mess with some systems and some apps where it's going to make you download all of those apps again the next time. Then what you want to do is you want to add those profiles, those MDM profiles into the system. Um, you can do that just by clicking plus and finding them and then opening them up. Once you have that configured, uh, what you're going to do is look at the other tabs here. So the next one is apps, um, which we're not going to touch right now because we don't want to kind of get into that. And then we're going to have setup. So what you're going to need to do within this is configure a number of settings just to make sure that things work. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is configure settings. You want to make sure you have device enrollment added um, with this pointer to our MDM server. Um, and the reason for that is it's just going to make it easier for the device enrollment to continue. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. Then what you're going to do is I like to customize the setup assistant. And what this does is it slows down um, this process quite a bit if you've got to actually click through a bunch of menus on each device when you set it up. So this one actually will skip most of them um, and only give you access to the ones that you need, which seems like a great idea. Um, so what you're going to want to do is disable location services, restore, passcode, Siri, Touch ID, Apple Play, and App Analytics. Um, but you will want to make sure you have the Apple ID. Now, since we are a non-US school and non-US organization, we can't use volume purchasing. So we can still actually purchase a single app, download it on iTunes, and then we, as long as we sign into every device with the same Apple ID, it will authorize to play on that device. So that's the reason we leave the Apple ID on in the configuration. So then every time you prepare a device, all you have to enter is the settings for how you would um, connect to the Wi-Fi and what your Apple ID would be. And then it will configure it and enroll it in the MDM for you. Then you'll want to put it into the correct group 
and make sure that those groups are configured in the way that you want them to be for each grade. Once you have this set up and you are ready to start enrolling, once you've got that cart next to you and are ready to go all the way through, what you do is you go ahead and hit prepare. Now what prepare will do is it will walk you and actually apply this image to every iPad that's connected to your computer until you click stop. So if I go ahead and hit apply now, and if I plugged in an iPad, it would immediately update it as number one. Then the next iPad I plug in would be number two. So it's really good to do it when you have a whole grade level ready to image, so that then you can just go straight through and configure all of them in one go. Um, if you have to stop and if you have to start over again with a different one, um, you're going to want to start that numbering sequence over again and make sure that you get them all in the right way. Uh, if you have any questions about how to set up the Apple configurator to enroll your devices in the MDM, uh, please reach out to me or leave a comment on this video. Thanks.